What's up guys? I'm Brad White at ArcLife Fab on Instagram, brand ambassador for Everlast Welders. Today I'm going to show you all pulse fusion welding techniques on edge fit ups for sheet metal. We're going to do three welds. The first one we're going to do at a lower pulse rate, 1.7 hertz. I use 50% time on, 25% background. 1.7 hertz or 1.7 pulses per second. That's going to give you like a nice dime stack look to a real uniform dime stack. As you move forward, you want to make sure that your pulse as it's coming on is going forward and overlapping your last dime. Therefore, your movement happens in between the pulses on your downtime for your arc. Your goal is essentially 50% overlap so you get that nice little dime profile, that little ripple stack that we all like. So as I'm going along, you can kind of see the overlap time and on the pulse on and how it's going to where each time on is creating the ripple. And you're essentially just moving forward, creating that puddle and that overlap with each time it goes on. Same as you're going around the circle. It's just each ripple is your pulse time on, creating each dime as you go. So now we're going to switch it up give a little different weld profile. We're keeping all the other pulse settings the same. We're going to go to three hertz or three pulses per second. You should see a less defined dime stack in the weld. As you can see, there's less defined ripples and it's more of just like a drag weld as it goes, you're feeding it into. For the final profile, we're going to switch it up to 10 hertz or 10 pulses per second, keeping all the other settings the same. With the faster pulses, you can see that it's just more of a dragging motion and trying to keep up with the heat as it's carried along. You'll notice the larger has zone here. Out of all three of them, you have the more defined, the medium defined, and just the straight drag almost. You'll notice the straight drag carries the more heat into it out of the other three. The one with the less amount of heat into it will lead to your lesser amount of distortion when you're welding. Essentially with sheet metal, you're just trying to weld the top part of the sheets together, not full penetration weld because it's such a thin weld that with just welding the top sections of the sheets, you actually get full penetration on there without sugar on the back. This has been Pulse Fusion Welding Techniques. I'm Brad White at ArcLife Fab on Instagram. Brand ambassador for Everlast Welders. Weld mean, weld green.